Hey, so today I'm going to be doing a video on fusions, and tomorrow um, I should have a video out. I kind of release out on a three second AP efficient nuke. I'm just waiting on the editor to respond, but um, the cannons are built and everything, so yeah, hopefully I'll look out for that tomorrow or the day after. So, yeah, um, like I said, today's episode is going to be on fusions and how to make fusions and why how they work, why to use them, and yeah, and the history a little bit. So, um, yeah, so pretty much what a fusion allows you to do is it allows you to use one one block. It, it lets you shoot on one block and still stack. So, um, you may be wondering how does that work? Well, as you can see, well, let me just show you. As you can see, a fusion uses a flat guider instead of a offset guider like a normal cannon. Um, see how you can see uh, they're offset. And also don't worry, I'm going to be showing you how to use it in a modern cannon as well. But this is just um, the concept at first. So pretty much what happens is you have two shots. So you have one of the sides boost off and then the other side boost off. So as you can see over here, um, this is Six or five ticks, right? So you have one one side on five ticks, and then this side is on seven ticks. So there are two ticks offset. That's what you typically want to do. You can do three. You know, some people change it up, but you know, typically I use two. Um, and yeah, so you'll have both of your shots boosted into right here. So you have two shots here. So first, what will happen? You'll have your sand come in. Only your sand. Your first shot will go off and your sand will hit the wall. So that's only your sand. And then you'll have your hammer push out to he here and you'll have your second shot come up and boost it up and hit, hit, make it hit the wall. But by the time the hammer hits the wall um, it's been two redstone ticks so the sand has, has, has had time to fall a little bit. So the hammer ends up on top of the sand like usual and it's able to hammer it down. So um, that's pretty much the same concept as this because what you'll have is you'll have your hammer end up here and your your sand, um, because it's on a lower guider, end up here. So it's still doing the same thing except this uses two blocks and that uses one block. And if you're confused about this, just watch my TNT Mechanics video um, and I go into depth about that. But um, that's the first word of fusion. And I'll go, I'll, I'll go more in depth about you know the ticks and everything but that's the first way to fusion the second way is not very practical it's called order of entity fusioning pretty much what happens is the way the order your TNT and the sand and everything is dispensed um, is the order of how it appears on the wall so if you dispense your sand very fast very early and your hammer later then your sand will end up slightly below your hammer um, but I'm not really going to go into that because it's inefficient you know you, you it's, it's very limited. You can't add a, you know, it's hard to add a slab bus, a nuke, all that stuff. Very difficult. Not worth the pain. <laughs> so yeah, um, let me show you a little bit how or why they were created. So, if you can see, many of you um, newer players haven't seen this before, and newer newer cannoners maybe maybe you have, but um, they are actually called triple filters. So, pretty much what would happen people would use those cannons where you know you have your sand and hammer coming out in two separate blocks so what would happen is you'd say you shoot like here you'd have your hammer go there and your sand go here because it's separated by two blocks right I mean it, it, you know it's in two separate blocks and you wouldn't really be able to hammer down your sand because your sand would just fall and like stack one and your hammer would just blow up here um, there are ways to get around this if um, you know people do, people people are like oh why don't we just make them closer together so you could use a slab slab to um, like have your sand and hammer technically shoot on one block but it's not in one block so they'd both hit the same block but it wouldn't actually be in one block the problem with that is that you'd end up with clipping issues and it's just not worth the pain so you also might see this back in the day I mean I'm sure you can see it sometimes you know 45 regens but I'm not sure I don't really play region servers, but um, 
pretty much what would happen on a 45 is you'd have your hammer hit here, your sand hit here. Again, same issue. Your hammer won't be able to hammer down the sand. So the second reason it was created is so that you could shoot through a one block hole. So um, as you can see, you could shoot sand, TNT, or sand um, TNT, whatever, through a cobweb. They won't get stuck. And you can't pearl through a cobweb and you can't creep wreck it. So it's pretty nice. You know, it makes it so that you can have boxes that people can't get into without having to, or, or unless they cannot into it. So um, that's pretty good when, when raiding. What people used to do before this is they'd have piston doors open and, and close whenever they wanted to fire. So they'd open it, fire, close it. But then again, you, you can still walk in that when, it, you can still walk into the cannon when it's, when it's open. So not, not the best way to raid. You know, if someone could just walk into your cannon. But, um, yeah, so let me show you the example of the fusion. Excuse the wiring. I just built this, like, very fast. Just as a demonstration cannon. Um, but, yeah. So if your first shot come in, it'll be sand. And it'll fall a little bit. And you'll have your hammer, as you can see. Um, so I'm going to show you over here. This will be... a. a I'll go into text set over here. So, um, this is my quick print that I built. I'll be releasing it in the near future. Um, pretty much, you know, used as like a small cannon. You can just easily print in. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you the fire real quick, and you can see the sand hitting. Hopefully, before the hammer gets there. This doesn't have a nuke or anything. It's just a very small cannon. Let me toggle TNT and sand. So you can see it a little bit better. Ah, it, it's hard to see. Uh, I'll try one more thing. Now that you won't be able to see it. Um, anyway, just trust me. <laughs> but I'll show you on the, um, I'll show you. So, there's a blaze rod on most servers, most cannon servers, you can use a blaze rod to count your ticks. So, I have them separated, so one will go off before the other. I don't remember which one is which, but, um, let's see, so this one will go off in 17 redstone ticks, and this one will go off in 19 redstone ticks. So, as you see, 17 here, 19 here. So they're separated by two ticks, so same thing will happen. Um, again, if you're confused about any of this stuff, watch my other videos. I'm going to be going in more into depth and having more tutorials, but um, you can see what's there. And then, so you have both of your shots in here. First, what will happen is your sand will come in, and it'll hit this trap door. And then your first power will explode, so your sand will go up. Go over. Go here. Your sand will hit the wall, and um, next will happen is so you only have one shot left. So next, your hammer will come in. It's triangulated here. Just don't worry about it. Uh, I can I can explain that in another video. But um, your hammer will come over here, and your team, your, your your second shot will blow up, and it will go up same direction as the sand hit the wall. But by the time it hits the wall, the sand would have fallen because it's two redstone ticks earlier than the hammer. And it will hammer down. And that's how you fusion. So let's go into the ticks a little bit. Um, I'm going to have a video explaining how to wire everything um, soon. Because I think that's very, very important. Um, but this is just a basic rundown on how you do it. So you want to separate, like I said, your two powers by your, your powers by two ticks. Um, two redstone ticks. And um, you can do three if you want, but I just stick with two. Um, maybe it'll be easier on no, it'll be easier on this cannon. So you'll separate it by two, and then you'll have your your sand come in. Either one or you, you have you shoot your sand from your from this booster. One or to, I would say two or three redstone ticks before your power. So you shoot it out. Before your first power, sorry. So you have it two or three resonant ticks before your first power. 
and then um, you know actually scratch that I think that's a little bit too confusing for now but I, I will leave you with one thing um, you want your hammer to be three uh, as you know in, in normal cannons you have your hammer three redstone ticks after your power you will want it three redstone ticks after your second power so as I showed you my second power is 19 redstone ticks so you want your hammer to be activated at 22 redstone ticks and um, yeah so very here let me let me just prove it to you as you can see 22 redstone ticks because there's three redstone ticks after your power so um yeah sorry about the confusing sand comp thing I'll, I'll i'll explain ticks in a whole separate video very soon very soon but yeah um i think that's everything about fusioning that i can think of if i missed anything or you want me to go in depth about anything let me know in the comments um like i said watch out for new videos gonna be getting out a lot very soon and yeah um, I'll talk to you later.